wave video tutorial how to use wave video step by step hey guys welcome back today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can get started with wave video so let's get into it now wave video is a online free to use video editing platform that allows you to create and record gorgeous and interesting videos without having any expertise in video editing and I've used this previously for a lot of projects as well as university work. And this definitely is a great tool for people that are beginners. If you're someone that just requires some basic editing and you want a, you know, easy, simple and effective solution, then Wave Video is definitely the tool for you. So let's get started with Wave Video. So to get started, simply head on over to wave.video and click on sign up on the top right. Now signing up is essential for downloading your video. If you just go on to wave.video, click on create video, you can even get started without creating an account. This is how simple this platform is. However, I do recommend you create your account because if you don't create your account, you won't be able to download the video that you have created. So you can sign up with Facebook, Google, or Apple as well, or you can just use your email address. Now, once you have created your account on Wave Video, this is going to be your dashboard. You're going to have a My Project section. You can have your streams and recordings, and you can, you know, open up the studio and you can create your live studio as well. You also have the access to your microphone and camera, so you can allow that to be able to add, you know, a logo of yourself. Uh, if you want to create reaction videos, you can use this to do all of that. Then you also have new recordings where you can record your screen, camera, or whatever it might be. Next up, you have your upload section where you can upload any video that you want to edit. So simply click on upload over here and you can go into any file that you want to upload. So let's say it's this one over here and I can just upload the video over here and you know it will be uploaded. Currently it's fixing some errors, but it just takes a couple of seconds. So yeah. Now it's working within a second and you guys can see my video is now uploading and now I can begin editing the video. You can even upload all of your resource files. So if you're working on a larger project, you can upload all of the resources over here and then continue on working in a more effective and, uh, you know, comprehensive manner. Next up, you have your template section. The template section allows you to build on pre-existing templates, which I have primarily used Wave Video for. These templates are super effective for a lot of social media platforms, especially things like uh, TikToks and, you know, intros, outros, all that basic social media marketing uh, aesthetic can be found over here. So you have image templates and the different styles. You also have a live stream template. So let's say we want to create a countdown live stream. So you guys can see they have a template for that as well. They have other templates like key takeaways. So you can create the key takeaways of your live streams. You also have a trending template. So, uh, you know, collage videos, social media templates, uh, you have ads and promos, industries, use cases, and holidays. So if I go into social media and I click on TikTok video, you guys can see there are so many different TikTok related, uh, you know, templates available as well. And you can take any one of these templates and add your own content. And if you're looking to build super original content, you don't want to uh, just take a template. You can just go into your uploads and you can just go ahead and go into your My Projects, click on create. And then from here, you even have AI tools from here. So you can even generate a video with AI, which I will be doing later on. But let's get started with a blank video. And I want this to be a story size video. It's a nine ratio. And I will just open up the wave video editor and from there we will begin editing. So right now you guys can see it's empty. I don't have any video to add from and I can just click on upload media and upload my own media file from here. Click on upload and this will be uploaded. So this is like a TikTok video of weight loss and how to lose weight. Uh, it's about, you know, wearing shapewear. So you guys can see this is our little video now let's say i want to first off i want to reduce maybe cut out certain parts so let's say i have this part over here that i don't want within my video so how can i do that well 
First off, you want to take your video and you guys will be able to see it on the bottom preview section. And you will also see on the right side, you have a couple of different tools. So in your tools, first going to leave this as it is. So in your tools, if you click on your video, you have the trim section, the crop and rotate section. Now, this crop and rotate is actually for the frame of the video. And if you click on your trim section, you can trim any part of the video that you don't require. So let's go ahead into this section over here. And if you only want one certain section, you can also do that as well. So if I have this section over here, I can just select that, zoom it in a little. So I'm only going to keep the part before this, click on trim. Once I've added that, I can re-upload my project. Obviously, it's going to be in your pre-existing uploads. You can just select whatever uh, video you have. You can just click on add. And now it's adding the same file again, and I'm just going to click on trim. And then I'm going to trim from the part ahead of the part that I don't want. So um, that grocery store part is the one that I don't require, like this. Now I'm just trimmed that. And just like that, I've seamlessly added my video. Belly pants, 360 degree high elastic. So like so, I have removed, you know, the section that I don't want. This is some basic trimming features. Now, other than that, you have your speeds as well. So let's say I want to fit a certain duration. You can also do that. But let's say I just want to overall increase the speed. I'm going to do it 1.5. And then I'm going to select the second portion as well because I've trimmed this into two parts. So I'm going to also convert this into 1.5. Now you also have volume options that you can adjust. You can lower and increase the volume of certain sections as well. Now, next up, you also have your layout. So you can choose how the video that you've uploaded is going to be laid out. Obviously, if you are adding templates or you know these are marketing videos, they're not going to be uh, filling out the entire frame. But for a TikTok video, this works better. Now. With that, we also have voice isolation. So if you take a look at the bottom left over here, you have new text and you can actually get a uh, text. So you can enter whatever text you want and you can get a voiceover from that. This is great for creating TikTok videos and other videos for social media content that don't really require, you know, complex language. However, it is going to be effective for social media marketing. So if you're building listicles, and you don't have someone to read out those listicles, you can do that. So how to lose weight. I can click on generate preview and it's going to generate a AI voice for me. You can choose the voice you want. You have multiple different voices as well. You have AI generate one, AI generate two, and then you have multiple different names. How to lose weight. So this is our automatic AI. Let's say I want this in a female voice. I'll select Anna from here. How to lose weight. I'm going to click on generate preview now. How to lose weight. So in this way, you can select any voice that you want and add your own voiceovers. You can also trim out or cut out certain sections. So uh, if I want to maybe take this section as well, let's say I want to cut out this section, I'll cut this out from here. Then I'll move my preview bar over here and then I'll cut it once more like this. And then I can just select the portion and delete this. You can also duplicate a section in the same fashion. And then on the top left side, you will find all of your text inserts as well as stickers, audios, or watermarks or captions you want to add. So if you click on captions, you can click on add captions and you have three basic functions. So you have automatic captions, you can upload your own file, or you can translate existing tracks. So Let's say I want to auto-generate my captions. I can do that and I'm going to do it for the first section. Number of line, one line captions or two line captions. I want two line captions and I will just click on create captions over here and it will automatically generate captions for me and then I can edit them if there are any mistakes. And you guys can see uh, this is just going to be uh, just super effective and easy. So just like that, we have our captions generated. Now you also have audio, uh, you know, for background music, you can add those and you also have these stickers and text has been added and you can customize obviously the caption text. You can really customize it however you want. You will see once your captions are added, you can click on the voice that you want if you want to generate a voice with your captions as well as the style. So you have karaoke style, you have the box style, you have the basic style and you also have color options. So I can select, let's say I want a pink background. I'll select a pink color from over here 
and then you can select the text color as well you also have multiple different font options that you can choose from so let's say i want to do you know whatever font you want but you can generate that as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with fave video once you have completed all of your editing you can just click on publish on the top right and you can download the video as a mp4 you can also create a uh, trim this uh, project and create a new one if you're working on long form content as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video